of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Doop. Shamma lamma ding dong loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. You're listening to Being Mr. Boop. You're still here? Jeez. <laughs> My name is Ryan funny. Pfeiffer and I am Mr. Boop. That tagline yeah. is even funnier. Well, I right think. Now. When was it written? It was written like on the second episode. No. Rush? It's, it it's, it's towards the bottom of the tagline list. Really? Huh. Yeah. Well, I remember, so there. Re- I remember writing it in season one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who are you? The the first one. Wait, I'm Lisa Doop, and uh, this is Mr. Boop. This is Mr. Boop. Hi, everyone. Welcome. No, it's being Mr. Boop. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, you're Mr. Okay. Lisa is who your name is, and it's yeah, Tuesday is the day. No, I, I, but it says X. Oh. So, yeah. Cool. Well, I guess you my are, name is Mr. X now. You are X. Um, I miss, because I and miss, it is I Tuesday is the X. day. This is the longest we've ever <laughs> took to say this, I think. And it's April 27, 2020. And also today we're reading the 71st ever Mr. Boop Strip. Woo! So what happens in this one? In today, Lisa. Mr. Boop, Alec gets more bread. He gets that bread. Get the yeah, get that bread. Ha ha ha! Classic, uh, Mr. Boop. Oh, he was buying bread. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got the bread. So panel one, <laughs> we see <laughs> we see Alec, um, looking sad, standing I guess in his apartment. We we learn. Um, but it just looks like a void, but it's his apartment. And I would like to avoid talking about it. <laughs> yeah, we made that joke. Um, uh, he's holding a, a, a bag, a plastic bag that says market on it. And I guess there's probably bread in there. Hey, maybe you were right that he, that he was only, you said he was only buying bread, right? Even yeah. though his carriage was full. Yeah. But it didn't, they, they didn't all look like bread. Maybe it wasn't even his carriage. Yeah, maybe he was just taking someone else's for a while. Maybe he decided, ah, this ain't for me. Can I rant a little bit about grocery shopping? Okay, but I might cut it out. Nah, I kid. No, let's (laughs) just start. (laughs) Have we just let... Uh, let, Alec has a speech bubble that says, Hey, bugs in Peter Griffin, Electries. I got more bread, Electries. He's really sad. He's holding it up. Arm, arm, arm out. Holding the bag. Kimbo. Is that what that means? Could be. If not, I'm making it. That's what a Kimbo means now. Put it in this slang. Don't really. With ha- with hands on the hips and elbows turned outwards. To fling something wildly or haphazardly. That, well, it's, uh, whatever. There's a speech <laughs> bubble from the uh, left of the panel. It's going off panel, so we don't know if it's Bugs Bunny or Peter Griffin talking. But it says, here, I'll do Bugs Bunny, you do Peter Griffin, we'll say it at the same time. It says, Uh, wait, 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 I forgot who's doing who. (laughs) So I'm Bugs Bunny, you're Peter Griffin. Okay. I guess so. One, two, three. Thanks, Thanks, Alec. Alec. (laughs) (laughs) You'll you'll make that sound good in post, I'm sure. (laughs) Panel two. There's no flopper shot because there's shot reverse shot. You just add reverb. And that, that, yeah. But yeah, so you're going no. to rent about grocery shopping. What, what's, what was that about? Kind of uh, decided against it? It, 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 it. People, this is not just with grocery shopping, but this is when it's most a problem because it's, because that's. Uh, people will not stay six feet away. Yeah. No good. And and people look at me like I'm crazy when I'm trying to stay six feet away, and it's like I and they took the, the arrows out of the aisle, so you can't. They're not even one way aisles anymore. So it's like, if someone's if 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 someone's going one way and someone's going the other way, which they were doing even when there were arrows, it's like, I'm just I'm just trapped to be to be like, the aisles aren't six feet wide. As, as you know, yeah. every Tuesday I interrupt one of your insane ramblings. <laughs> to, do the, to do the dirty rap or dirty crap segment. Um, in today's dirty rap or dirty crap segment, I will read out a sentence from the dirty rap Wikipedia article, and you have to figure out how it ends. Guess the last word of the sentence, basically. Here's here we go. 
The lyrics are often over. Lisa, as you know, every Tuesday I interrupt the Dirty Rap for Dirty Crap segment <laughs> to give my thoughts on the newest Mountain Dew flavor. I'm drinking uh, Mountain Dew Spark today, and it tastes bad. It's Mountain Dew that's that's with raspberry lemon flavor. Ryan, and because I have, because I have know. parosmia, because I have parosmia, it tastes really bad. Ryan, as you know, the lyrics are often overtly explicit and graphic, sometimes to the point of being comical or slang. Uh huh. Oh, that's the sentence. <laughs> yeah. Say it again. The lyrics are often overtly explicit and graphic, sometimes to the point of being comical or slang. One more time. <laughs> the lyrics are overtly offensive. And graphic, sometimes to the point of being comical or blank. So weird sentence because they're saying it's this and this, almost to the point of being this and this. Yeah. Almost to the point of being. So it's and comical and graphic. Explicit and graphic to the point Ex of being comical or. Blank. Explicit and graphic to the point of being comical or. Um, um, satirical. Offensive. What? Yeah, the lyrics. Say it again. The Say the full sentence. The lyrics are often overtly explicit. But the lyrics are often overtly explicit and graphic, sometimes to the point of being comical or offensive. This is a bad <laughs> sentence. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ryan. Of course it's offensive. They did, that was the first part of the Ryan. it's uh, it's 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 graphic That's... almost to the, whatever. Your, it's... your fighting won't lose you won't gain you any more got dirty rap points. You're in minus 3. <laughs> this is a bad <laughs> sentence. How I what was the first round? I don't remember. What was um, I don't think I, I don't think we did the same game in the first round. It was like a different <laughs> Yeah, there's two dirty rap like the points combined the both. Okay. Mm hmm Whatever. The meme or cream what, segment oh, will be discontinued. Uh, panel two. What? The meme or cream segment is discontinued. Good. I don't that sounds bad. Uh <laughs> panel two, we see Bugs and Peter Griffin um looking in different directions. There, so Al, uh, Bugs is like looking forward towards Alec, and and Peter's looking down. But it also seems it looks like he's looking down towards Alec. But I guess he's just looking down. I don't know. We don't really see how they are in position to each other. They're a Kimbo. Um, and Bugs is and and Peter's a little bit shorter than Bugs. So I don't I don't think Peter should be shorter than Bugs. This seems wrong to me. Let's see. Like I running. get with the ears, he would be taller, but his his head comes up above Peter's head. That seems wrong to me. Has Bugs Bunny ever appeared in Family Guy? That's the question. Let's look it up. Bugs Bunny, Family Guy. Well, not not with Peter. Yeah. Wait. He's he's in the in Mugen. <laughs> I he see. I see. This. It, I say. I see. I see. There's a. There's someone. Someone. It, it, this looks official, but I don't think it is. It's like a bunch of cartoon characters skiing. The the Griffins, awesome. Simpsons characters, Bugs Bunny, Bob Burgers characters, and Future and Lila and Bender from Futurama. What do you? I've. I'm looking down the results and I have found um, a Mr. Booth strip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's weird. This is a weird picture because it is, know, it's I got all these I can't find the picture. like Fox cartoon characters because Futurama was originally Fox, I think. And then Bugs Bunny is just in the middle for some reason. He's really out of place. But he he does, I guess, look taller than Peter here. I don't know. Bugs is usually when he, you know, just just uh, comparing it to Looney Tunes. Uh, uh, how, the this the height of humans and that he's usually like. Shorter than the average human, so that's I don't know. I I, I guess Peter is shorter than the, the even even shorter than that. Bugs it's, it's weird. Bunny height. 
I don't think there's a canonical height. We talked about the canonical height in season one, though. It was you, huh? We talked about his canon height in season one. Bugs Bunny? Yeah. Oh, did we now? Yeah, you you said that you. I had, do you kind of talk, vaguely you had a remember that. Game or something. You, he's, oh yes, yeah? yes. Oh, the fucking space. Jam. Oh, hang on. Let me go to the Space Jam website. <laughs> Here, you. Uh, what is uh, what is uh, Peter Griffin saying in his speech role? Um. I think we wait. I just looked up Peter Griffin's height, and I think we had this exact same discussion in season one. No, because did I'm, we? Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, I've read. We this we talked about before. Alex height. I guess, but I remember having a discuss because it says that Peter is six foot three after he leaves the space shuttle in an episode. I don't like think we talked about height that. Was different, and we were like, well, his height different. That's not pr- proof of anything. But yeah, I don't think. Well, maybe we did because there was that one. Uh... Play it back. <laughs> yeah, go back and play it. There was that one episode where, where of him, like guy where he's tall, and they say he's Slender Man. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like maybe we mentioned that at some point. Uh, and Bugs's height is God damn it! I have to open the activity oh. book PDF. He... Okay, according to, wait, according to the um, revised character sheet. From the season one, Peter Griffin is five ten, uh, and Bugs Bunny is three five. Huh. So this is very wrong. <laughs> he's he's he with his ears, he's four feet. Wait, how old? How 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 tall is Peter? He's five ten. And LeBron James is six. So that's eight, according to the char- That's according to the what's it called um character sheet. So like there's no that's in, canon there, i guess but there's no in universe thing where they say oh he's five ten <laughs> <laughs> well this is the, this is it's as canon as this is although yeah. maybe this is based on like uh mug shots. fucking huh mug shots no um the bugs bunny thing it might be based on like character reference sheets like make sure he's this tall in the movie we don't want him to. We don't want him to be too tall next to LeBron James. He's got to be LeBron free. Said free. He, LeBron said he had to be three, five, <laughs> four feet at most, but only with the ears, or he's out. See, <laughs> he's out. See, <laughs> he's not being upstaged by a fucking rabbit. We're just inventing the um the movie Looney Tunes back in action. He needs to Are be. We now? Yeah, because that's like about the Hollywood side of. Tunes. Like bugs won't be, bugs won't be in a movie if he. I would cool. love. No, I wouldn't. It would well. It, I it would be cool. I guess to see maybe maybe if they if on the Looney uh, if on the Space Jam Legacy DVD DVD folks, um, there was like a a behind the scenes featurette that was like more yeah tongue in cheek like just like the the Hollywood side of like making. It like LeBron. Have you wait? Have you seen that? Uh, the I'm just talking about other people's jokes now. But have you it seen, could even be mockumentary have style. Have you seen the Onion? Um, the Onion article on how uh, Onion. Oh, the Onion article about how um, what Le, what's his name? Who's the guy from the first Space Jam? The live action. Michael player. Jordan. Michael Jordan got Bugs Bunny out of a um, depressive cycle to be in Mac, the Space Jam two. Very funny. <laughs> No, I haven't. Um, panel three is the same as panel two, excuse me, but um, they're posed a little bit differently. Peter's posed the same, but he's not looking down anymore. He's looking. His arms are akimbo. His arms are just down regularly. <laughs> it's not. Whatever. <laughs> um, his eyes look sad. They're not really looking any specific direction. Bugs is looking in the same direction, but he his eyelids are lowered, kind of, kind of like in an old brother fashion. Oh brother! Classic. And he's got a speech trouble that says, "Eh." Remember, <laughs> "Eh" is in, is is implied. Is, we've added. Are we in, huh? oh, are we in panel two? 
Panel three now? Interp- yeah, panel three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Interp- but... Interpolated? Is that the word I'm looking for? Sure. Interlate. I don't, whatever. It, it says, eh, this isn't still about you thinking you're married to Betty Boop, is it? See? Electoral heart. <laughs> panel four is back to the shot of Alec, but a little bit closer. We don't see him holding the bag anymore because his arm's down. What? He's doing the control alt delete face. Just with his mouth. Not with Kinda. His mouth. He's grimacing a little. Yeah. Um, Palots. Eyelids. Eye, eye, eyebrows raised. He's got two speed troubles. Uh, the first one says, um, you're not going to believe this. And the second one says, but it is actually. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's what it says. That's what it says. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, we didn't say the, the the synopsis. The synopsis was, or the shadow synopsis. Did we say this even? Yeah, we did. We didn't say the shadow synopsis. The shadow synopsis is, uh, how are we liking book two so far? Anybody pissed off yet? I'm pissed All off. All lowercase, two sentences. But for unrelated reasons, hmm? I'm thinking about this Trump presidency. Am I right, guys? <laughs> um, this, uh, yeah. This, this election. <laughs> Four more months. <laughs> Wait, April, April, May, June, July, August. A little bit more than four. <laughs> Wait, I guess it would be the rest of the year, wouldn't it? I don't know. That's just when the election is. <laughs> I never think about this type of stuff. Try not. Huh? I never think about the passage of time. Oh, I thought you were going to say uh, elections, and no, but no, I, and I was going to say, but you just said you were thinking about. No, no, no! I went to a. Pun I was going to catch you in a lie. No, no, I did the punchline before you did. You could do one. I did a punchline. I see you linked me the <laughs> Onion article. Yeah, very funny. It's very funny <laughs> that you linked hey, me. Yeah, guys, check that. Check out that that this Onion fellow. You guys heard about this Onion article? It's, All right. Oh, no, I'm no, hosting. You know the okay. Onion started in like the '80s. As a print ma- print magazine? Yes. That's crazy. I've seen it in print. That's crazy. I hate that. Get rid of it. <laughs> Why? It's not meant to be real. It's not meant to be a re- you know they have real a movie? magazine. No, 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 no. They to have be, a movie. It's not meant to be real magazine. Well, it's it's like it's like Mad Magazine. No, or, no, no, no. Do you no, know no. Cracked was a magazine? No, 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 no. You know, they had a podcast that I liked. Did you know that? They had a podcast for about a year that it was funny as well. Cracked? No, no, the onion. Or the cracked or the onion. The onion had a podcast that was funny. Do you know cracked? Yeah, I'm no, I know. Cracked, cracked might be before your time. That's, well, we're the same age, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like I'm older than you. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but no. Am I? I don't know. I think you might be. Anyway, yeah, maybe probably. By, by a year. Well, the thing is, if if you're a little bit younger younger than me, then that then that means there's a generational difference because I consider myself a millennial. Wow. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Were you born in the 2000s? I was born in the 2000s, but that, that means there you go. That generational means, difference. That means you've missed the millennium if you're born in the 2000s. Yeah. You know. So and I was born in, in 1998. So that means I'm a millennial because it was before the millennium. <laughs> That's what I think. I don't care if they say, "Oh, it was 1996 or whatever." I don't know. Bullshit. I think that I think that it's determined of the culture that you spent your teenage years in. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I feel like I feel like there's a generational difference be- between uh, two th- earlier than 2000s and and after 2000s. Mm-hmm. I was pre 9/11. I mean, I mean, huh? I was pre 9/11. Not many of my classmates can exactly. say that. Exactly. <laughs> mm. I know someone whose birthday was on 9-11. That's great for that. And, and another person whose birthday was the day after 9-11. You know, um... They are both, both born before 9-11. Gerald right? Casal, um, one of the founders and songwriters for Devo, his wedding um, was 9-11 themed. Canada. Oh my god, I think we've ta- I think we've had this conversation as well, actually. Wait, you said his name is Jared? Yeah, Jared, Jared Casal, Gerald Casal. That's so. Is the person? What, Jer- how is it spelled? G E R A L D. Oh, it's Gerald. Oh, Gerald. Yeah, Gerald. 
Oh, that's di- that's different. different There's a person I know who was born on 11 is named Ger- 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 Gerard, I think, something like that. Nice. Jerry. Hey, good for him. Good for him. <laughs> anyway. Um, what was I oh yeah, the um, the Onion to... had a better podcast than us. <sighs> it was also like short episodes, um, you know, fun stuff. Did you know Cracked was a print magazine no, first? No, I didn't. I, I'm they not, were like I National Lampoons. They were like National Lampoons. Too bad. What the fuck, you you what do the fuck now. Is National Lampoon. You don't know National Lampoons. I know about. But them. you know Cracked. Yeah. No, you didn't. You didn't know Cracked was print. I didn't know Cracked. No, but I, I'm familiar with Cracked.com. <laughs> Jimmy Crack com and I. Oh no 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 <laughs> no no no! no. Not so bad. Sorry. You Crack coin. Um. Why? It's about it's, it's about it's about whipping slaves. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. No, they said corn. Yeah, that's the name. They're of cracking the, corn. That's the name of the guy. That's the name of the. Anyway. What? Yeah, I think so. That's what I had. Well, I didn't. I said calm. What? I said Jimmy cracked calm, like cracked dot, dot com. What is it? Eminem did a cover of Jimmy crept corn. It's the, first, Did he? it's the first thing that came up when I googled Jimmy. Is Crack that a, is that is that on the dirty rap rap Wikipedia page? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, you've been listening to being Mr. Boop. We gotta tell the guys at work to come up with more taglines. We do. We do. We do. You can visit the show's website at www.beingmrboop.com. We at at uh, at at Jimmy being Mr. Boop com mm-hmm. for our full catalog of episodes and to sign up to host the podcast. For more updates, follow at Mr. Boop Pod on Twitter. Uh, I'm I'm Ryan Pfeiffer. You can um, find some some of the things I make uh, at on my channel, Semi Sweet Gaming. That's what it's called now. You can find nothing about me ever. I don't exist. You can find me <laughs> hanging out at um, find me at my uh, house at the I Shake Shack you. across the street from my local uh, independent theater. When I arrive for the movie too late, so I have to wait for the next showing, and then I'm just sitting in the Shake Shack alone for a few hours because I went to the movie alone. Happens a lot. Yeah. Happened at least once. <laughs> what movie you seen? It. Uh, Licorice Pizza. Oh, if I guessed that though, if I guessed that. Look, huh? If I guessed it though, how am I made? <laughs> <laughs> well, it would have been a while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah. Although, well, they don't show those type of movies there, but just the fact that there's two. Or, or at least well, three they, it they movies. That. Yeah, they, they if you count the TV movie. movie, they wouldn't show that at a theater. It's too long. But but uh, that gives you higher chances. Were you it's seeing like, Star well, Wars? actually, it was it too? So close seen enough. A Star Wars? Huh? Yeah, you seen Have a Star I seen Wars Star Wars? Wars? Yes, and I've seen them in the theater, but not at this theater because they only show. Uh, uh, like Wes Anderson movies and shit. You know, <laughs> they don't show uh, blockbusters. Well, thank you and good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank you and good night. Wes came to the world famous Betty Boochie. Wes was a lucky guy. So in love, might make you puke. She's the apple of his eye. Sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Doop. Stammer, lamma, ding dong, loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows. <laughs>